Welcome back guys to Code Like Ice. So today we're gonna build a single page application with Laravel and jQuery Ajax. Yeah, so we're gonna make sure that every route or link that we click on does not reload, but the Ajax will fetch the page and append it to our blade. Yeah, so we're gonna keep it simple and very basic today. Yeah, so we have our navigation links here, and ordinarily when you click on any of the links ideally supposed to reload the page and bring you the data yeah so like yeah it shouldn't refresh it refreshes and brings you the data like this so what you're going to do today is to make sure that um, the page does not refresh so just get you the data yeah so for example um, this is the home route and we have which actually extends um, this app this app.blade so our jquery script will be javascript will be here yeah and this is our home route and here we have the, the logo and this side the default page so this is the logo this is the default page right now if as you can see i've given it an id of render that means any other page coming will come and replace all this content here now let's see we have okay this is a sample yeah so yeah so let's go into our code um so yeah let's go to the app.play.php so you can see here yeah, i've given them a class of spa routes i'm giving a class here as spa route. so the same class has been assigned to these routes and yeah, let me just expand the yeah so now i make sure that um, we assign every route every um the necessary route to the anchor anchor tag then on click it will just dynamically fetch the name of the route and um fetch the, the html the blade and just append yeah now let's go into our code now we have um okay so let's create uh can use let let's say link going to be class sp route remember okay we also define our render we also define our render here so we need to define um not render to as well so so render is going also going to be very render. Mm. Yeah. So say define our okay, no need um Okay, event handling. No, see, on click. So you have on click. You see, Ajax call a pen. Let's see, replace, replace div with content. So, is one, two, three. It's gonna be that simple. Now we say, um, we're gonna use this one, this link. Because as you can see, it's tied to, it's tied to here, in here too. So I'm gonna say link dot one click function, one click function. Say t dot prevent default. That means you're gonna stop it from redirecting. 
Prevent default. And we can say let route. We can give it this. Get the href. href. Let's do a console.log route. Inspect. So yes, clear this. Um, um, okay, so I'm able to get all the routes. So what do we do next? So let's come back. Now let's call it. Maybe I just call. You know, use the shorthand. Uh, get. Let's see route. Function beta the console the plug beta mm -hmm. let's clear this let's see what comes so we have this div here we mm -hmm. have this HTML here mm -hmm. so Yes, I have all these things here. Okay. Now let's get rid of our locks because we know it's working. Now we have to replace the with content, which is this div. Can be found in here. Now replace all this. Come back and then we say render dot um, HTML. Data. So let's see. Let's change everything. Hello, this is my buddy, which is um on the one of the pages in the home or default. Yeah, so hello, this is my buddy, the dashboard. So we're gonna make sure that your code, um, the part of your HTML is in this place so that when it replaces here, it will just pick all this. Now we have your default, um, yeah, so that, that is it. Um, so let's see, scheduler output. Yeah, so you see this round scheduler slash schedule. Um, it causes so slash schedule hmm. scheduler output we call this function here now we call the other command as usual then we pass in the variable to it so when you just say the variable here keeps on changing because we're fetching new data as we click that is guys for today as we said earlier we're gonna keep it simple and basic yeah you can extend the ajax ajax handling of the um, single page loading to any part of the application you want if you want to display validation errors too we had a tutorial on that so if you like this video kindly subscribe and share and see you in the next tutorial